Well, welcome back to Europhil Shorts. And today we're gonna shoot a few of these. So you're gonna see this pink shirt on a few. Um, but we have a lot of questions coming in. And I guess a lot of people are attempting this uh, technique of uh, penile enhancement using fillers. And it is a great question. And it, it's gonna bleed into a, a second question during this short. Um, this question comes from, I'm not, not going to say his name, but um, <laughs> JG, okay? And he's, he asked, for girth enhancement, what are the differences between the fillers and the side effects over time? And what is the difference in sizes lasting over time? And he's just putting this question out there so that people thinking about the fillers will have a better understanding of the types and costs of the different types of fillers. Well, when it comes to what different fillers are out there, uh, there should only be one and that should be hyaluronic acid. A anything else somebody's putting into the penis is not gonna lead to a favorable result. And I can tell that because we tried almost everything but the criminal use of uh, silicone. So if we're looking specifically at hyaluronic acid, eh, I, I would hope that it, your, your surgeon, for the most part, should be uh, putting in a, a, a high-grade product that, that has uh, been purified uh, properly because these are the ones that don't cause allergies. These are the ones that can lead to the proper consistency that you need or really the ability for, for it to be you know, palpated and feel normal. Um, you, you're going to want to go to a higher end a hyaluronic acid. So you don't want to go cheap on uh, the filler that you use. Yes, there's, there's manifold uh, opportunities out there to try different hyaluronic acids. I would speculate that there's a lot of docs that are just going for the cheapest. Um, the things that you need to look for are hyaluronic acids that are cross-linked. If they're not cross-linked, they're not going to hang out. And you can buy products on the internet. It says hyaluronic acid, but it's gone in less than a few weeks because it's not cross-linked. When it comes to the subtle differences, which is looking at the molecular weights of these things, these, this is something that using our technique, we've sort of evaluated and found uh, products that are available in whatever country our, our uh, providers are in that are it, as close to what the normal texture of the penis uh, would be. So um, hopefully you're going to a Eurofill pr provider that will have an idea what what filler is closest to the penis and, and, and feel. And hopefully they're using a, a, a material that's cross-linked and hopefully they're using a, a material that will, when placed in the proper area, last for indefinitely. That is our goal. Um, so we're going to bleed into the second, an uh, another question that came in, which is, is there any body rejection uh, concerns or medications required for Eurofill? Eurofill meaning a product. We don't have a product. We have the patented technique. Your body doesn't reject it because hyaluronic acid is, is part of your, the substrate of your skin. So this is something that's inside of you and when purchased from a a bona fide company, you have a purified material that's going to be safe, effective, and you'll have a great outcome. So that's a great question. Thank you very much. And you'll see the pink shirt on the next few. Thank you.